What's up, folks? Um, I'm going to do something today that I find that I have to do more and more lately because um, I, I seem to be incapable of expressing myself properly. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk about some things in that last video that were said um, and some concerns that were legitimate. Um, the first thing that I saw was that um, you know, people were talking about how you know I was saying that... Uh, liberals are more open-minded. And at first I was pissed off because I was like, I didn't say that. But then I watched the video again and I realized I did say that. Um, which is not... Not what I was fucking meaning to say. Um, Alright, let me put it to you this way. An educated person has um, access to more ideas. Okay? They... More ideas are presented to them. They have access to them. They can learn more about them from different people. They get a lot of different opinions. That comes with being educated is knowing more things, um, or at least having access to that knowledge. That's why I say that they're more open-minded. I should have said that they were open to, they had access to more ideas. Okay, you're not now. You're right. You're not necessarily going to be more open-minded. You're not necessarily even going to be more intelligent. Um, taking a liberal position isn't automatically more intelligent because uh, some liberal positions, in my opinion, are wrong. All right? But it is a fact, and you really can't argue with me on this, and just don't waste your fucking time, that the better educated you are, the more access to different ideas you have. Okay, um, That's what's going on here, and that's why people tend to be less conservative because um, there's a lot of better... Uh, positions on, on some things that, that conservatives believe. Um, it's just like if you live in some hick town in the middle of Alabama, you don't see a lot of black people or a lot of uh, gays or Mexicans or whatever. Um, so you're not going to be as familiar with them and you're probably going to be more likely to be racist. Um, ignorance and lack of um, you know access to information tends to breed things like uh, racism, um, and that's why you have less racists in uh, uh, that are people that are better educated are less likely to be racist. And somebody pointed out that I, I use a stereotype that conservative movement is based on things like racism and hatred and shit. And like, no, 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 no. Well, maybe it's not for you, okay? But a large amount of the base, the real core of the conservative movement, are hardcore Christians. Um, Hardcore anti-gay people, uh, hardcore pro-life people, um, these kinds of people form the core of the conservative base. That's the conservative movement in this country. And as we all know, you cannot separate religious movements from hate, and you cannot separate things like homophobia, of course, from hate. So there is hate in the center of the conservative movement. Better educated people are less likely to be religious, they're less likely to be homophobic, they're less likely to be racists, um, and all those things. That um, is what's going on here. But it doesn't really matter, okay, if if 100% of the professors are liberal or 10% or 1% or none. It doesn't really matter because that number does not have any proof that there's a conser that there's a liberal indoctrination movement here. Because when you say something like indoctrination, liberal indoctrination, you're implying that there's some sort of plan, that the, the leaders of these universities get together and say, here's our 12-step plan to turn these kids into liberals. Okay, that's what you're saying. And anyone who actually believes that there's a liberal conspiracy to indoctrinate our children is a fucking moron. That's why I said, if you actually believe that, you can keep on sucking Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck's dick all day because I'm not going to buy that shit. That's fucking retarded. Anyone who believes that is an idiot, all right? If you don't believe that, if you just believe that, um, you know, people who go to universities are more likely to be liberal, say that, okay? But when you say indoctrination, you're implying some system, some plan to indoctrinate your children. That's fucking retarded, all right? Somebody asked, if they're so open-minded, um, why do they not invite speakers that are more conservative? Um, I'd say that they do invite plenty of speakers that are conservative. I've heard speakers at universities for these issues like anti-feminism, men's rights. Um, I've heard shit from people at universities about abortion. 
uh, Christopher Hitchens goes to, and talks to universities all the time. You're saying Christopher Hitchens, he's not a conservative. Yes, he is. Um, besides religion, he's he's pretty hardcore about uh, what he kind of wants to be a crusade against the Muslim people. I would take that as a pretty conservative position. Um, maybe Ann, somebody said Ann Coulter was booed off the stage. Well, first of all, Ann Coulter has no business speaking in a university. I don't know what her fucking qualifications are. But here's another issue. Why are there less conservatives speaking at the universities? Maybe because less conservatives are educated enough to be worthy of speaking at a university. Um, not just every fucking jack-off gets to go speak at a university. And if they are inviting liberal jack-offs, maybe that's what the kids want to see, man. Um, now, the bizarre thing to me is, well, first of all, people people always they, they want to label me whenever I take a position like that. And now they're label they want to label me as a liberal. When I take a conservative position, they want to label me as a conservative. You ever ask yourself why you can watch one of my videos that labels me as a liberal and another video that labels me as a conservative? Why am I being labeled both of those things? Well, I'm not either of those things. Okay, I take parts of, of, of different issues, okay? Just because I attack conservatives on this issue does not mean that I'm not a conservative. Um, I share many uh, uh, opinions with conservatives, and I was, I, I think it's quite sad that the conservative movement is basically telling people not to go to school, to not get educated. How does that bode well for the conservative movement? If, if your ideas can't um, be sold to an educated person, there's something very wrong here. And it's it's oftentimes very educated people in the conservative movement who say shit like this, like the gentleman who made the video that this was all about in the first place. Now, I don't know his credentials, but he sounds quite educated. He at least sounds like an intelligent person. Um, he's a Christian, so I don't know how much I can get out of that. But in terms of his, you know, his ability to speak, all that shit, he sounds educated. And he's sitting there telling people to not get educated. Then you... Well, Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck aren't educated, but you have people like uh, Bill O'Reilly. He's an educated man. Bill O'Reilly is a smart man, but he's the kind of person that propagates this shit. So why are the intelligent leaders of the conservative movement telling people to not go and get educated? What the fuck is going on here? There's something very wrong. I don't know how you expect to compete with the Democratic Party if you're not, you know, if you're going to turn against all educated people. I mean, that's what you just said. I, when you say liberal indoctrination, you're, you're pretty much saying, fuck this entire group of people. All college-educated people, we don't need them. That's fucking insane. That's a stupid thing to do. That's not good politics. That might please your base, but your base is pretty fucking stupid. Your base will be pleased as long as you pander a little bit to their ideas. You don't have to go and totally exclude intellectuals altogether. What kind of movements exclude intellectuals? What kind of movements go after intellectuals? Communists? Uh, 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 fascists, totalitarian movements go after intellectuals. If you don't want to be considered a totalitarian movement, if you don't want people to compare you to Nazis uh, and, and, and fascists and all that shit, don't try to exclude intellectuals entirely as a group. That's fucking retarded. So that, that's what I had to say about all that. Um, and secondly, I'd, I'd like to make a point um, about people who are saying that you know you can't get in contact with the government or learn any shit like that. Here's two letters that I've received in the last week on issues that I emailed my representative, who is Republican Thaddeus McCotter, uh, who's the chairman of House Republican Policy Committee and the Committee on Financial Services. Here's two complete letters from him on shit that I sent him issues about, talking about his position on it. This one even includes a full copy of the bill that it was about. This shit's like eight pages long. So. You folks that are afraid you can't get in contact with your government, you can. Now, I'm not laboring under the delusion that this man read all this, but the simple fact that he was willing to send this shit out to me and it's signed in real handwriting makes me quite pleased. Um, you know, so you can get some information. This one was about um, uh, uh, the issue of increasing the federal cigarette tax uh, to expand state children's health insurance programs. Uh, I've never supported any tax increase, I, I agree with you, blah, 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 and all this shit in here about the history of the plan, um, about alternative solutions to getting the money for the children's health thing, all in there. What's this one? This one is on uh, informing me of your thoughts of eliminating unfair transaction fees, credit card companies charge merchants, you know, now that you can't even go, I want to go out, buy a fucking pack of cigarettes on my card, right? 
can't do it. Why? Because it costs them too much money. They don't make a profit off it. He agrees with the shit. Here it is. Whole information on the bill, what they're doing to, uh, to plan on it, or what they're planning to do about it, what he's planning on voting on, what it's about. It's all there. You can get this information, all right? The government is not totally sealed off to you. All right, folks, I'll talk to you later.